we still see this as a very uh, positive for asset prices in China. So our our view is very much that, you know, when you look at macro and you're investing from a macro angle, it's you look at the cycle. So you have early cycle, mid cycle, late cycle and end cycle. So where so China right now is in a place which is kind of the opposite of where the U.S. is. Right. So what what happened in the U.S. Uh, and many parts of, you know, the world as well, like Australia and New Zealand, uh, Europe, Canada, they're all sort of in the U.S. boat, right? So where, you know, when you had COVID and you had all the crisis, um, they flooded the market with the fiscal, you know, stimulus, rates were decreased. And so you had a lot of liquidity in the market. You had assets, you know, just soaring in prices, housing prices soaring. And as a consequence, you obviously got um, inflation. And so now what they're having to do is in order to curb all of that, they're cutting rates and they're pulling back on the liquidity, right? Um, Now, when you look at China, it's just the opposite. So I was saying that, you know, China is a little bit in the opposite situation of where the rest of the world is. So... Mm. What we will see play out is what we've already seen play out sort of in, you know, uh, the U.S. or Australia, where the markets were booming because of all the liquidity that was being injected into the market, whether it's, you know, through fiscal measures or through monetary policy. We may not have the same level of growth or the same level of um increase in the stock market you know, or increase in prices in the stock market, we still see this as a very uh, positive for asset prices in China. 